when we last saw our heroes, uh, before the break and I had food, uh, you had gotten rid of all of my orcs and boar. Uh, you were also making your way, I believe Thanar was already halfway and uh, Siren had turned to make his way in that direction. And you're making your way to the front of the of the wagon. Uh, when you get, oh, let's say ten feet from the head uh, of the of this wagon train, uh, you see that everything is well in hand. Uh, these guys have made super short work of everyone. Uh, the cleric uh, Uvo uh, has been. Uh, buffing uh, William, the paladin. And William is just sort of standing in the middle of, like, in between two orcs, and he'll swing and, like, carry his blade around to hit the other one. He's just, he's making a mess of things. Uh, Meanwhile, the boars are being handled beautifully by this... uh, Dwarf, who has, like I said before, an axe the size of uh, your shield. And he's just... The handle on this axe doesn't reach all the way to the end of the axe. So it's just it's just like axe head on both sides. And he's just sort of spinning in a circle and letting the weight of this monstrous blade just hack and slash. So you know you're going to eat well tomorrow when he's finished carving up this bacon. And you you can either wade into the fray or just stop. And uh, the the bard is off his horse, but is just sort of standing off to the back end and playing his uh, playing his lute uh, again. Like I said, in a in a in a an upbeat uh, sea shanty. Uh, and every now and again, you'll see him. Uh, turn and point with the tip of his lute, with the head of his lute, at one of the combatants, and there's a flash of light, and then they, whatever overextension that they have uh, committed, and seem to be getting out of sync, they catch themselves and get back in. Uh, and it, it's not long before everything is taken care of. And everyone sort of gathers up. They're cleaning off their blades. uh, And they all gather back around. Uh, You all are sent back to the back. And uh, the... uh, You're gathering up the the boars that you've dropped. Uh, No no reason to let good food go to waste. And you're picking through the orcs. uh, And you don't... They don't have anything particularly useful in terms of, of loot or anything. Uh, they each have a few javelins and a battle axe each. Uh, and the boars have uh, bacon. Nice. And it's nice. not long before they you... have bacon or are bacon? Um, well, I didn't well, hit not any bacon of my... Yeah, we don't have a fire. Yeah, I didn't hit any of my firebolts, so... Ah, okay. So they, they have bacon to offer you imagine um imagine if they were a shopping center that catered only to uh bacon eaters and that would be like very similar to what they are so mall of america yeah. pretty much yeah a lot of, a lot of that so it's not long uh before you can pack everything up and head back down the trail is there anything you'd like to do before you do that and the orcs didn't really have much of note on them. Nope. Uh, Any insignia? Oddly enough, uh, not really. No, no real insignia. They seem to have. What uh, about tattoos? Uh, they have uh, a. Hold on. Let me let me check something just real quick. Nope. Nope. Uh, they have tattoos uh, on their shoulder of what looks to be an owl bear. That's cute. <laughs> have you seen an owl bear? Yes. Yes, actually, like... you have. Yeah. IRL. 
Oh, nice. Nice, dude. Yeah, I have raised dude, one. Like, actually. the babies must be so cute. Oh, my God. They are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby oh. owlbears are adorable. Do I recognize this clan or a presumably clan tattoo since they all have it? Uh, no, no, this isn't, these aren't your orcs. Okay. Well, I guess nothing else then. Something, um, let, let, let me have sort of an, an investigation check from you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woo! I'll take that any day of the week. If yeah. I could only roll 15s for the rest of my life, I don't think I would take that. Yeah, honestly, it'd be... I'd Probably. It'd be okay, I'll tell you that much. Um, as you sort of pick over these critters looking for stuff, you notice they're they're kind of dinged up. It's like you know, all, all orcs have uh, all orcs have scars uh, from battles that they've won or lost. Some of them are, are missing fingers or ears. Um. Especially with you guys around, but uh, these guys look like they've seen some pretty heavy action fairly recently. Like, heavily? Okay. Yeah. And considering what you know of the raiding that's been going on in this area for, like, the past maybe six months, maybe? Uh... You don't think that it's from uh, raids. You think it's from something else. You're not sure what, though. All right. So you round up. Everything's back in position. Um, you are, as I said before, sent to the back. Um, I, everyone sort of comes together, and William and Uvo are uh, making sure that everyone is all healed up. Uh, and... Uh, did they heal the damage that Buffer and Banner take? Uh, how much damage did uh, Fitz take? Four. Uh, and Siren? None. Okay. Thanar? They didn't even touch five. my armor. <laughs> All right. So Thanar took five damage and Fitz took four. Uh, Fitz, he will come over. Um, William, the paladin, will come over. <clears throat> and we'll put a hand on your shoulder and uh we'll we'll say in a very a very monotone serious voice uh the god helm watches over us and you heal your four points does he have to bend over william yes okay yep i thought you were i kind of want to know why <laughs> i was what I thought Facepalm asked that question about fits. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't. I don't think so. So you are, he lays on hands, which is a, a paladin ability. And you are healed your four points. Uh, he will approach Thanar. Thanks. And ask if you would like the same. And I'll just nod. I was like, I would appreciate it. He'll put a hand on your shoulder, grip like a, a, a strong grip. He's like, uh, uh, let me see. Protection battle or something along those lines, like a, a, a very short but traditional uh, Helmite prayer. Uh, and you are also healed of your damage. <clears throat> Neat. And then, with no other word, he turns and walks back to his brother who is actually uh, looking at some wounds that uh, Botkeg the Dwarf took. That who took? The Dwarf. What was his name? Botkeg. Botkeg, okay. Yeah, it's all one word. Sounds like a league thing. Um, I want to go... Have the uh, caravan drivers come out yet? The merchants? Uh, yes. <clears throat> as soon as... Uh, as as soon as... 
uh, the the orcs seem to be gone. They'll peek up over, and the the two drivers will sort of pull themselves up in the seat, and the 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 one the more bookish one will say, "Is it over? <laughs> Did uh, <clears throat> I had I had all the faith in the world in you?" That time it wasn't a question. Well. Yes, of course. It was. It was never a question that you would be able to. <clears throat> anyway, uh, now what? Um, we continue. Yes, that that seems to be the sensible thing. Yes, let's uh, let's be on then, gentlemen. So I have a question: hmm. How does speak with beasts work? Because um. I don't like how it's written. I think it's way less funny than it could be. Okay, so that's <laughs> Forrest. I want to know your interpretation of it. Forrest Gnome. Uh, speak with. That should get me somewhere. Uh -huh. Because the way it's written, I don't like. But I want to know what you... Through sounds and gestures, you communicate simple ideas with small or smaller beasts. Uh huh. All right. So, what do you want it to do? I think it's funnier, and personally, way better if you can directly communicate with them, as in, Like, you can say things to them, and they'll understand it as long as you're not talking about, like, tax laws or whatever. Well, so... If it's a thing within their world, they will get it. You don't have to, like, communicate through animalistic gestures. So the rough idea here is that you can communicate basic uh, ideas, like yes or no questions they can understand. It's like ideas of, like, is there danger nearby, food, shelter, stuff like that. Um the 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 problem is that if you could just speak to animals that would be like the druid spell speak with animals oh <laughs> i see yeah so that's that's why it's stepping different on, stepping on toes yeah okay lame <laughs> or one you want to speak with animals dude it's so funny Okay. So you uh, you pack up. Uh, the orcs are moved to the side of the road. Uh, what do you do with orcs? Like, what do you do with an orc corpse? Ask the paladin. Yeah, that's that's probably correct. Uh, so. Unfortunately, you are the paladin. What I what I imagine. <laughs> so so what I'm thinking is, um, the paladin would look over them, sort of sneer a bit. Uh, oh, he's always... And orcs, man. Uh, you would gather firewood, uh, and throw the six orc corpses on top of the uh, wood, and he would open a. Uh, a sacred book of Helm and read a, a short passage about uh, treating your enemies well, uh, something about uh, defending the homeland, uh, and then he would hold out a hand and cast sacred flame, and everything would go up, just... <laughs> and it will burn for a while. 500 years. Well, yeah, it will burn for a thousand years of men. Um, it does not. It burns for like a <laughs> couple of hours, and then you but... you you scatter the the ashes and and continue on your way if you'd like. Does Thanar have any weirdness with this? No, no. I was going to mention that I would Thanar would help assemble the funeral pyre. Okay. No love lost. All right. <clears throat> so. <sighs> the trek so far has been pretty much uphill. Uh, the roads have been rough and rocky. 
Um, there been some hairpin turns as you sort of work your way through the rocks and, and, and uh, do your best to... Oh, huh. Interesting. Sorry. Uh, as you do your best to sort of navigate, there's a, these, these wagons are pretty long. Like, I think they're probably 15 feet each uh, on their own. Um, you're easing your way through when all of a sudden it sort of flattens out, and then you start going downhill. You're making your way down the mountains. Uh, the roads are better. Not much, but a little bit better. Uh, and the there's sort of newer life coming into the the terrain uh, you're as you're sort of approaching a more a more wooded area uh, you reach a fork in the road uh, there are two paths uh, one leads uh, more straight ahead than the other uh, and the uh, bookish gentleman will tell you that if you continue on in that direction, it will take you to Tribor, uh, which is the trail you're on, Tribor Trail. Uh, and then there is one that f like arches off at a pretty sharp angle to the left, uh, and that is how you get to Conaberry. So you turn off... the road less traveled. Yes, as a matter of fact. Uh, it is the road much less traveled, especially in recent days. You lumber along down this road, <clears throat> and you pass into a heavily treed area. Young trees. Uh, these are not yet uh, giant oaks as they will be soon. It's just young, small trees growing into sort of an expansion of the Neverwinter Wood. Uh, and you, you round a couple of bends, and eventually you see it. Uh, nestled down in uh, this lovely little clearing, uh, surrounded on all sides by by trees, uh, both old and new, uh, you see a wasteland. This was a city in the way that, like, the tire on the wagon was a tire after the boar hit it. Um, it You see houses and buildings. You see towers of uh, walls, and they are all pretty well ruined. Uh, there's kind of not much that looks like it is a town, and a lot more that looks like it was a town. Um, oddly enough, you're seeing what look to be like chunks of earth that have been picked straight up. We're talking like hundreds of yards uh, across, just picked straight up out of the ground and dropped. Like sections of land? Or... Yeah, sections of land. Is it like cleanly cut or is it super messy? Um it's not it's not like sharp angles and and clean, but it's also not like, you know, it, I I guess messy is, is like probably if the an best earth way. Earthbender picked something up? Yes. Yeah, but Did they go and make Coney Island out of Coneyberry? Okay. <laughs> There is a. a I imagine it. They picked up a floating island. There is a a river that goes straight through the middle of this this wasteland. Is there anything that suggests this was done like when? Uh, let me have um, perception. Oh, good. That's something I'm really great at. <laughs> oh, from all of us. Or? Sure, sure. Let's see what you see. Okay. Nice. Um, a lot of this looks to be kind of old. Well, what the destruction does, or the buildings do? Uh, yes. Uh, the 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 buildings that are toppled over are being reclaimed by ivy 
and moss. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing's on fire. Anything that would have been on fire, it looks like, uh, has gone out. Is this... How, how gonna... big... This city was probably bigger than Phandalin. That's really weird. I'm going to go up towards William and Uvo. Nobody and else ask... seems to find this strange, by the way. Is this... when, was the, when was the last time someone made it to Conanberry? You say, like, hmm? Oh, no, no, you're, you're at Uvo? You say, like, oh, uh, well, the, the city itself was... It has been a long time since Conaberry has been what anyone would call a city. Uh, it was uh, lost in the spell plague, and now that it is back, mm, things are not as they once were. Yeah, can I do something I should have done at the start? What do I know about this fucking town? History! Oh, God, H. Fucking God. Hot damn. Tell me the name of the yeah. barmaid, dude. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> it has been a long time ago. But there was a period of time where magic came unraveled. You know, especially because you're a wizard, that Toril the world that you live on is half of what it once was. A beer is in its shadow. The world has been separated in from one world into two. You live on one half in the light and in the darkness is where very, very strange things were removed from this world and hidden away. The gods had a war, and during that time, the goddess Mistra, goddess of magic, was killed. And with her went the weave, from which your arcane magics come. Uh, this caused a lot of very strange things to happen, and part of what happened was uh, a city in on a beer was shifted to Toril, right smack dab in the middle of Conaberry. Years passed, uh, and things were sort of a mess. And when everything shifted back to normalcy, after some other god took up the mantle of uh, the god of magic and reinstated the weave, some places didn't get fixed all the way. Uh, and Conaberry was one of those places. It became a place of those people who couldn't go home again. Uh, and the people of Conaberry sort of protected them. Um, this did not sit well with some of the barbarian tribes in their area who saw the people who had come here from a beer as interlopers. And they laid siege to the town and killed everyone that would not join them. And those that would join them were forced to. And that is why Conaberry is the way you see it. I know now. I always forget that my character knows things that I don't. <laughs> yep. Because it's a weird thing. Because it's like I am that character, yet somehow they know more than me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of a strange. But, thing. I, but I don't know what they know. Yeah, oh, that's fucked. But Thanar okay, still doesn't know this. What? Thanar still doesn't know this. Okay, but I do. Uh -huh. Got it. So on you press, <clears throat> and you move down into this ruin. Uh, and 
you see a large tower that's sort of set in the middle of town. Uh, Fitz, you recognize this as it probably would have been a wizard's tower. And it has essentially been lifted out of the ground and sort of tipped over on its side. Uh, and you move down streets that very likely would have led to the town hall. And just outside of the what this large building you see your first human activity. Uh, there are tents set up out in front of this building. Uh, the building itself is in decent repair. Uh, there's still supplies all around. Um, and as you... Let me see here. <sighs> Did I really... Da, 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 da. Oh, who did I decide was the... Ah, there we go. As you round the corner uh, and come upon this this place, you see a an elven figure uh, in uh, brown and green uh, who is sort of picking through uh, one of the buildings uh, and he'll He'll look at you and tip a hat. Uh, we're talking like a, a big straw hat. And he's like, hello and welcome. Stop. <laughs> you are a blessing. Please, this way, I shall introduce you to the mayor. Okay. Okay. And and uh, <laughs> the gentleman with the books jumps out, and uh, he will approach this gentleman and begin speaking with him. And um, you come to understand that this is a half elf gentleman by the name of Tyranor Winden. Uh, he is here with his wife. Uh, and you take these two carts full of supplies up to the uh, the town hall, and the whole town turns out to greet you. And there's there's handshakes and smiles, and everyone is excited to have like actual people show up here. Uh, it sort of turns into a mess, and. Uh, it is about this time uh, that a, a a very old dwarf uh, comes out of the town hall. Like, everyone, everyone, calm down now. Calm down now. Now then. And he approaches, big smile on his face. And he's got a a monster of a staff. This thing is huge. Just tunk, tunk as he comes along. He's big white beard almost dragging the ground. And he's he's sort of pulling on it, stroking his big beard. And he's like, hmm, yes. Wonderful. Maybe we can, maybe there's hope for us after all. I was, I was beginning to worry. Oh, well, <laughs> Please, please come, come, and 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 everyone sort of begins to to unload, uh, and your carts are taken off to the side, uh, your uh, horses are are stabled and fed and watered, uh, and all of the guards, that is, uh, you and the four others, are invited inside. Uh, he will. This big dwarf fellow will say. Yes, come, come this way. Let's see. Um, you are from Helm's Hold, I believe. Yep. Are they from Helm's Hold? Yes. Okay. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, how many of you were sent to guard the uh, the wagons? And that the other four will seven. The other four will say that that would be us. And uh, that means that you three uh, were set to take care of the uh, the Wyvern Tor thing. 
That is correct. Wonderful. Uh, and he looks you over and sort of sees, you know, the some battle scars. Like, uh, did you encounter trouble on the road? Yeah. He keeps eyeing you, Fitz, every time you give him like these, like <laughs> super simple monosyllabic things. Like, um, I see. The caravan was ambushed on the way by a small party of orcs and boars. Mm, how many That's of what them? I said. How many of them would you say? Six orcs and four boars. Hmm. That seems about right. Unfortunately. About right for what? That's zoo. Uh... From what we've been able to gather from people who have made their way through, that's the standard number of a raiding party on a one of our shipments. This town is in dire straits, and we can't afford any more of those to not get through. <coughs> Hashtag nice. dying. Rip. Hashtag nice. Oof. So then, um, there's not much that we can really do for you uh, before you set out. Uh, We can allow you a a place to stay and rest up from the road. Um, Is there anything that you need from us? Any information we can give you? uh, Whatever is ours is yours. Do you know much about the Wyvern Tor orcs? Besides their general direction, mm, let's see now. And he will, he he goes over to uh, what looks like a hastily assembled de- desk out of some boxes. Um, he uh, reaches underneath and pulls out a book, starts flipping through. Ah, ah, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Not much. To be perfectly honest with you, uh, we're we're settlers. We're moving into a place that was already abandoned by time, and we're desperately trying to turn this into a a logging town. Uh, The only thing we've been able to gather is that there is an untold number of orcs uh, in Wyvern Tor, which is sort of a, a, a valley between some... Uh, large hills in the Sword Mountains, and uh, we imagine they have a a cave or some such there. Uh, so, uh, we how were. Far a- is it f- hmm? How far do you believe it is from the road? Why are they raiding the caravans? Wouldn't <sighs> it be hard to move the wagons through the mountains? No offense, but orcs tend to be fairly desperate and violent. It could just be raiding for no reason other than it's something to do. None taken. I'm far removed from my orc culture. I'm far be it from me to appropriate orc culture. <laughs> then I'll just chuckle. Yes, anyway. Uh, <laughs> he is a dwarf. Racist dwarf. He is kind a of dwarf. Yeah. yeah, that's implied. Oh, racist that's what the R dwarf. stands for. Yep. Yep. What's the D? Dumb. The F is for fat. We almost have the entire dwarf stereotype in one word. Stars. Okay. Um. He will uh, go on to tell you that uh, a month or so ago, uh, before we uh, asked, uh, reached out to Helm's Hold, uh, we did send word to Fandolin, and I put up the, uh, asked them to put up a, a notice of intent that we were willing to hire anyone, but then enough time went by. uh, Very disappointed that nothing happened, but apparently Fandolin has had their own problems. I have heard good news about that. Uh, You 
seem to have taken care of their bandit problem. Yep. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, maybe there is hope for us yet. We we did. I sidetrack. I'm <laughs> getting old. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it, we did hire a, a, a young uh, ranger type uh, to attempt to scout out the orcs. Uh, unfortunately, we never heard back from them. How long ago was he sent? Oh, it would have been two or three months now. Yeah, it's most disappointing. Uh, I... I hesitate to think what might have happened to her, but, um, you know, uh, it's just the risk you take, I suppose. Anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, I, it's late in the day. I can't imagine you will leave uh, this evening. Uh, you're welcome to stay here as long as you like. I think it would be best for us to start tomorrow morning. Thank you. Mm, so more than welcome. Anyway, yes, ah, um, uh, yes, uh, we will uh, get a ten couple of tents set up for you. Uh, do you, uh, how many do you imagine you will need? Just the three for us. I'm, I'm not sure about the rest of the caravan. They, uh, the, the, the other party will uh, ask for two tents and sleep two to a tent. Nah. Yes, that's right. Quite. And they, it, he will escort you back outside. Uh, everything is being very hastily unloaded and opened, and it's it's building supplies mostly. But there's there's uh, salted pork, uh, some dried vegetables and fruits and things like that. Uh, there's just like there's this. You you look around and it is simple living here. Like we're talking bare bones like there have been a couple of uh plots of land sort of set aside uh for farming uh pretty close to the town hall in like an empty space between buildings um one of the uh tents has obviously been set up for a blacksmith and there's five or ten different axes that are just sort of laid beside it and are and and saws and the like it's like somebody's desperately trying to keep all of their uh all of the the wood that they can keep coming in coming in so they can sort of rebuild this place uh this this is a desperate situation for them and if the orcs aren't a problem there is hope for new life here Okay, I think it's all of your I stuff is unloaded to before tomorrow morning. All of your stuff is unloaded. You yep. are escorted to a large tent uh, with four cots in it, uh, one for uh, each of you and a spare. And uh, you may do what you want with the rest of your evening. All right. There, there we is, to, there we, is a. You have to share the same room, dude. That's awful. There is a small uh, sort of, it's not even a feast, it's like a half feast. It's like what they can do sort of set up to welcome you guys in, uh, feed you as best they can the night before you head out, all that fun stuff. Uh, the bard uh, sets you up with, sets the whole town up with the best music they've heard in probably years at this point and uh, eventually everyone goes off to sleep I want to try and make more fire arrows just because it went so well last time okay uh, how did we do did that did you make me roll uh, I think it was dexterity it was either dex or sleight of hand let's do uh... it might have been a sleight of hand because that is a dex no, I, I I don't think that you're... I, I think it was like a straight dex check. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, no no proficiency bonus, just straight dex. Well, I'm just trying you, to make 
however okay. many I can. Uh how how much how many supplies do you have for this? Um you didn't tell me I lost any last time. Okay. How many do so you have now? I made two and I have enough left for eight more. Okay. Uh you make uh you make six more. Nice. Yep. That's all I got. Okay. Anyone else? I think I'm good. Okay. Well, I'm everyone... going to wake up earlier than everyone else, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, everyone uh, gains the benefit of a long rest. Uh, prepare your spells as you wish. The sun rises. The sun rises, and you are awakened uh, by the smell of cooking bacon. Ah, I brought it back. Your boars are roasting over an open fire. Uh, there are eggs being prepared for you, uh, and a a hearty uh, breakfast is given to you. Uh, you are... Uh, <clears throat> resupplied. Uh, you can see that uh, a couple of... Uh, let me see, who do I have here? <laughs> there is a... There are two dwarves and a halfling male uh, who are uh, working on the cart uh, from last night, the one that got hit by the boar. And they're sort of going over yours to make sure that nothing is wrong with it. Um, yours is off to the side and looks to be in really good shape. Uh, there is a halfling woman uh, and a half-elf uh, male, the one from earlier, uh, who are doing the cooking right now. Uh, just sort of minding the fire, making sure everything is, is going. Uh, the party of four... Uh, is sort of wakes up at about the same time you do and, and go immediately over for for the breakfasts. Uh, the bard uh, will help with the cooking. Uh, and it is <clears throat> very soon after this hearty breakfast that you are ready to get back on the road, if you would like. You head out onto the road. Are we heading to the road or are we going to the mountains? Because I figured we were going to the mountains. Well, you there there is a path that oh, okay. you can sort of track. Um, Wyvern Tour is deep into these mountains. Uh, you will have hashtag to... deep. Yeah, sure. Get it trending. Mm -hmm. Uh, boy, howdy. Let's don't. So. To draw a straight line from Conneberry to Wyvern Tor would be poorly advised. Um, you know that Wyvern Tor is closer to the middle of the Sword Mountains, um, up near Ice Spire Peak, which is roughly here. Uh, you know that Wyvern Tor is actually in this area. So, you trace your steps back along Tribor Trail, and you get about halfway between the city of Conneberry and where you were ambushed, and you find a path back in towards the Tor. It's rough going. Like, let it not be, let it, <laughs> let it not be said that it is not rough going. Uh, since you are going into the mountains, are you going to take your cart? No. Okay. So you leave your cart behind so, Conneberry, as well as the horse. And just as a PSA, I'm going to be wearing, I'm going to put on full armor. I'm going to leave my battle axe back. Okay. With everything else. I'm going to so you're. The sword and the mace. You're uh, traveling light in quotation marks. Uh, like, you're going to be moving as quickly as you can and all of that. Uh, it's still rough. It is rough going over these mountains. Uh, you find yourself sort of struggling, especially you, Thanar, now that you're in your, your full armor. You're fine. It, it's not that big a deal. It's just you are 
super unstealthy. This is the loudest that the rest of you have actually heard him be. Just it it he sounds like he sounds like he is wearing pants that have tambourines taped to the hips. Oh, so we're giving up now. <laughs> giving up what? Fits? Any attempt at life. Oh. I'm doing okay. Your bells are distracting. I've then got I spurs around. that jingle, jangle, jingle. So then I was going to look around to see if he could find any bells. Why would there be any fucking bells? <laughs> <laughs> well, he said there was bells. Thanar is a simple man. Uh, what? What is your intelligence? Um. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. Twelve. Okay. Nice, nice, dude. Nice. Dude, same. All right, oh, so nice. uh, you follow the trail <clears throat> towards Wyvern Tor. Uh, and as you make your way through uh, the mountains, let me have... Uh, At Fitz, should I be... Do you want me... Party, would you prefer me to just carry my extra armor on my pack until we're going to be in a combat? Nah, fuck it. It takes, like, forever to put it on. Yeah, it yeah, takes, like, five minutes. You know, we definitely have to have time to prepare, so... You need to have, like, a fucking maiden, like, put on everything. Uh, I think pretty dude, sure that's you're not Iron Man. You can't just have it attached to you. It yeah, no, off. I know it takes time, so we would need to be able to prepare, which may or may yeah, not no. happen. Just I want to say it it's, like, 30 minutes or something to put it all on. It's a solid amount of time. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. I think it's something like... I don't remember. All right. So you're going to have to try to find your way into... You're going to have to try to find the track of these orcs. Uh, who, which one of you, is going to be doing that? And who will I got be it. helping him? I got it. I, I'll have you know. Yeah. I got a disguise for this. You've got a... Dis you have a... You have a disguise for tracking? Yeah, I got a disguise for tracking. Well, tell us about it, boy. So I'm going to disguise myself, look a lot my, like myself, but more in safari gear. Oh. Like a safari hat? Yeah, you are. I got a magnifying glass as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right yeah. Now. From nowhere. That doesn't work because nope. it's an illusion. Yep. Illusion layer. Illusionary. <laughs> yep. So I'm like, I got this, guys. I'll find them. I'm going to need everyone to, uh, to roll a constitution save uh, against just how much this makes you cringe. Um. Fuck. You're dead. Fitz, Fitz, you take one point of psychic damage. <laughs> I go, oh. You, you, you do not take any points of damage. That was for humor. Flame, can you do the? Can you do the safari voice? No. What ho, gentlemen? We're going off to find the orcs. Sounds like the mayor voice. But the other yeah. mayor voice, not like <laughs> this mayor voice. This mayor voice sounds like the last mayor voice, but with a little bit of Sildar thrown in. Gotta look up Nigel Thornberry's <gasps> voice. And... Oh, man. I've got to stop doing like the deep gravelly voices. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, you need to add more women, dude. Actually, no, you can't. You can't that probably makes then... it even worse. <laughs> no, because then it's violence against women if you hurt them. Feminism can't allow that. <sighs> <laughs> all right who, who why did we think we were gonna get to an encounter in like an hour <laughs> <laughs> yeah honestly siren 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 yeah roll me a nature check a nature check i thought it was gonna be something else <laughs> that's nature so you 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 like you got you you're like hey guys no i got this man i'm gonna track these orcs could it be survival uh no you're not surviving you're tracking survival <laughs> He is a shitty nature. <laughs> Who wants to be my deputy in this one? Of course. Yep. No, 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 do I? So, okay. So, Siren, uh, what is what is your nature right now? Plus one. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're you're sort of looking around. Mm -mm. 
Hmm. Actually, roll me a nature check. If I can get help with it, will I get advantage? Yes, you can. Okay, who wants to help me? So we, we need to make this into a narrative, but who wants to help him? Track orcs. I kind oh, of God, think Thanar. Oh, God, does no want to help me? I kind <laughs> of think Thanar. Wait, help sorry, track say that orcs. again. What'd you say? So some, if anyone wants to help him... Fitz isn't horribly how invested... Do... What happens if we help him? Is it just like give the help way? action more or less, and I get advantage? Yes. Oh, what? Fitz okay. Isn't too invested, and he's like still kind of weirded out. By yeah. Siren. Okay. All right. So, do you ask for help, or are you just like? Yes, I said, who oh. wants to be my deputy? Thanar is still wearing his deputy badge. Everyone should know. <laughs> Good to know. Course. Good to know. <laughs> okay, let's find some orcs. Nature with advantage. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take that. That's not... All right. Uh, so I rolled a fifteen. Narratively, uh, I like the idea of Siren being like, "I got you," because he's he's like, "I got to prove myself," right? And he's yeah. going, and you're you're I looking around, of, and like for the first, complete. huh? <laughs> I'm out of. I don't even know what I'm looking for. No, it's like for the first like two three hours, you you're on this trail. Right, you're doing good, and and then there's this moment where the the trail slit splits right, and you head off to the left, and you're like, "Yep, trails go this way, guys." And Thanar, <clears throat> you're looking down, and you see a footprint that very clearly is going down the right path, and you just <clears throat> and point down at it. And Siren looks at you and is like, yep, nope, that's... Oh, uh, oh, oh, of course, yeah, I, I was testing you. Yep, oh, yeah, yeah you were. Ooh. And you make your way. Uh, it takes you a couple of days in, in the woods, in, in, the, in these mountains. Uh, and you days? eventually find your... Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. But you do eventually uh, find yourself uh, in the region of Wyvern Tor. Now, I need to check a thing before I do anything else. Do you have a map of Wyvern Tor? I do! Oh, let's go! Oh, wow. Why can't you see with your eyes? Do you have dark vision, what? Siren? Yes. Uh, what is your That's dark why vision? I picked a half elf. It's... What's my what? It's the 60 rain. feet? Uh... 60 feet. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. Fitz, do you have dark vision? Yeah, I'm a gnome. Gnome. Okay, okay. Pretty uh, sure we all have dark vision. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that is also the case. Okay, so I'll need to change yours real quick. I'm learning. Oh, you're changing the light thingy. Yeah, I have to do that real quick. Hey, that'll do. Hey, that'll do. Okay. All right. Now everybody can see. <clears throat> so, I am going to need all of you to just not. I'm going to move everything and then everybody just stay still. So, you're traveling through the woods. Uh, you've tracked these critters down and you find the tracks lead into a valley. A dark ass valley. Uh, Where am I? You are <laughs> here. Up to uh, the to left. The there. Wait. Up left. Oh, I just scroll out way far. Okay. I don't have anything showing on my screen. Wee. Make Ooh, sure you zoom out. River, river. No, I'm zoomed out all the way. It's all. It's a black square. All black everything. Uh, hold on. There Is this we a go. River? Uh, I'll get, I'll get there. I'll get there. Are we there yet? <laughs> is that a strand of DNA? Dude, is that the double helix? There. Poggers, dude. The infinite. All right, so now everybody yeah. should see. Yep. Cool beans. All right, now. How, so you, you find these tracks down here. Uh, you do find like a stream that is going down through the middle of it. 
uh, what, how do you, how do you approach this area? Well, I, I, I mean, follow right next to the loudest boy. Do these tracks look more recent than any others we've seen? Um, they do kind of, but that what's, what's even more interesting is that they are, uh, there are just, m- they're, they're more plentiful. Like there's a lot more of them in this area. Okay. What about, can I ask about this? About what? The thing I'm trying to ping, but I can't because I'm the ruler because I enjoyed it. <laughs> Hold on. I got to get on this. There we go. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> you'd have to get closer to figure it out, but it just looks kind of like a, a pile of black ash. Well, does it look like it's still smoking, or can I see cinders that are still orange? Uh, so you come down the side of this of this ravine, and when you get to this point, you do see that it is kind of smoking. Like... It's midday, and there's still a little bit of smoke coming off of it. You don't see many cinders. You get the feeling that uh, it's sort of been wet down, uh, but it is still steaming a bit. Has it rained in the past couple days? It has not. That is good to know. Do we hear anything, by the way? Uh, No. uh... So the water's not even running? Uh, okay, L- listen, listen here, you. Uh, what you hear is you the stream. You hear sand, okay. and you hear stream, and you hear air, and you is hear gravity. Like, <laughs> nearby wildlife, like birds. Uh no, no birds. <clears throat> you do like like I said, you hear the the rippling of the stream, uh, down, um, down the middle of this ravine, and it's sort of bouncing off the sides of the walls. Uh, you do hear the crunching of slightly damp sand beneath your feet. You hear the faint jingling of Thanar's armor. Ching, ching. Yup. Yup. I'm just going to turn and say to the rest of the party, this is the most recent activity of anything, of any signs of life we've seen. Be careful. And just start walking forwards. Careful's my middle name. All right. So how many squares do I get at a time? Oh, that was oops. How so which direction are you headed? North. The same way we've going. I so <laughs> north. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just say down the river. Okay, so you're gonna go anyway. Hold on. Where which which button is this? Do I not have a where's my where's my ruler? It's the circle with the thing. It's the new one. They changed the icon. It's really ridiculous. So now it snaps to the center instead, and I don't know if I like it. All right, so you're going to head down in this direction. Not in this direction? Correct. Okay. Uh, Let's go go 10 feet at a time. Uh, Actually, before you even do that, I need... how How are you going? You're just walking? Or are you going to walk carefully? I mean, as careful I think, as I one can walking... with a loud boy. There are yeah. specific mechanics for this, so just tell me how are you approaching? Well, Let's do careful. Walk, we will walk as carefully as we can. Okay. All right. So let me have a stealth roll from each of you. Thanar, yours with disadvantage. Woo! All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, this I is pray gonna go to the gods of bad. who knows what. I'm no, actually, I'm gonna pray to Tony. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray to Tony. Fucking peaked your mic there, my dude. Did I? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That All right. My ears. How do I roll better than you? <laughs> you know exactly why, because he sucks. Dude, what's wrong with my dice? This Nothing's is actually... wrong with them. This. This See, is I... called D and D. This I would say put your dice in dice fault. jail, but we can't. All right, Fitz. Uh, how do you mess this up? <laughs> By being born? Dude, huh. did you fall into the river? Um, that'd all be right. pretty far So fall. the sand's probably, is the sand wet at all? Yeah, it's a little wet. So he just keeps like sinking in and he keeps having to like heave his feet out. 
because and it's it's like hard because he's sinking in too much because he's so short right and then he just he tries to pull his foot out get stuck but he already leaned forward to move and so he just eats sand does he bounce off of thanar he's like following thanar really closely and this time he just like he pulls himself out and he falls over but he bounces off thanar's leg I don't. Mm, no, just like face full I, of sand. I, I don't think he's following Thanar close enough that he would fall. <laughs> okay. Because that'd be like he'd be following. Mm, well, Gnomes I are guess, pretty small. Yeah, you have he's to be like three, literally in front of me. Well, he's three feet tall, so I just have to be like behind you. But yeah, I don't but know I'm still how much moving. I want like a face full of Thanar's ass. So probably not that close. Uh, all right. Uh, let's have everyone. Uh, let me see here. No shape. Let's move everyone into this area. Uh, I can hide my ruler from you. Move into that square. Yep. Hold on. I spy him with my little eye. An enemy. Okay. Oh, you do. I so you all get to here. Uh, when it eats it. Yeah. Shout. Yeah. And it's at this point that this fine gentleman moves 5, 10, 15 to here, sees you, grunts, <laughs> moves here, and then that's 30, 45, and then in here, and you hear, <laughs> And then I need yeah, initiative. Exactly. Okay, don't worry. It only took us like 20 minutes to get here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's quick, the easy part. I fight. just go Fuck! back. Oh, boy. Quick fight. Quick fight. Uh, where's my initiative button? There it is. Ooh, we're starting off really? strong wrong today, boys. What's my rolling? All right. How many orcs do I have? Uh-oh. How many oh times do we hear his dice go? Oh.